All right, uh, I bought one of the CW filters. Uh, this, I bought this from the Four State QRP group, and it's an audio CW filter. It's a 200, 200 uh, hertz wide filter, and it uses uh, kind of Salon key type filters and op amps and stuff, but it's a, a kit, and it was cheap, so I went ahead and bought it, and I thought we would build it, which would be fun. And then I thought we would do some measurements on it, which would be fun and maybe we can think about maybe building a different one. So, or designing a different one, I should say. Uh, so let's see what you get here. You get a nice PC board. This is a uh, sockets and chips over here. Um, and get a bag of parts here. Let's take a look at the uh, parts list here. It came with, came with this. Um, so it uses a TLC 274, I like that part, uh, for the quad op amp. And then it uses a LM386 audio amp, so you could drive a speaker with this, I guess. Uh, I thought it was just a, a filter, so that may or may not be of interest to me, but we will build the whole thing. So anyway, there's no schematic here, but there is a schematic in the uh, online. So uh, yeah, let's get it built first. So. Uh, it's already on the tray. Yeah. All right. Look at that. Somebody wrote in pen 0 0.001 microfarads. So I guess these are probably 0 0.001 microfarads. They say 102 on them, so that would be another clue. But uh, let's go ahead and put them where they're supposed to be. C4, um, C4, let's see here, C3, C4, and those there, and C6, C5, C6 here, and C9, which is right here. Oh, there's another side on the right. That's there. All right. All right, so I'm going to start with the here. So here's another one, and it's not right on this one. Wow, so uh, 47 in 47. That's C2. Okay, so this one, this one's the C5, 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 Alright, um, let's see, you have a good one. Is a 30 10. Alright, I see three. Not sure why it's still so big. Or so they find. Uh, I'll have a few cards over there. Scratch, you've got a film cast, 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 you've got C11, C15, C15, right, sorry, yeah. and C11, where's C11? Um, C16, C11 here. Alright, so let's see, 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 Uh, okay. Okay. And so it's like a three, six, three. Just two, two of those. Uh, yeah, okay, six, three. Arson, arson. All right, there we go. Uh, it's all put together. I noticed that there's a R13 missing and a D1 missing. Um, so I need to go find the schematic because they're not on the uh, they're not on the parts list either. Um, so they must be optional. 
but I'm not sure how they are optional. Um, so we will have to go find schematic. Yeah, it uses a, uh, I already mentioned that. I already mentioned the chips it uses. So the, yeah, I like, I like this. Um, it has a uh, in, ground, and a plus nine volts. And then a ground and an out on the other side. So pretty self-explanatory. I like the size. It's a nice, nice size. They um, mentioned that in the write-up of this thing. It's small, and you can put it inside many radios because it will fit. And then you can have an extra CW filter in there, not in the IF stage, but in the audio stage. And uh, yeah, sometimes that helps out. I remember having one as a kid. I made my own. I had a little CW filter on my... Uh, what radio did I have? Swan 500? Yeah, Swan 500. <laughs> so I didn't have any uh, narrow CW filter, so I had an audio, audio filter on it. All right, uh, I did find the schematic in the, there's an assembly a manual as well, if you want to look at the assembly manual. Um, I, have it, I have it printed out here, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it uses four, basically four band passes, and just runs it through each of the four, and you get, uh, get a nice nice spike and um, we have uh, the parts that are not supposed to be loaded so that's correct you don't load this part and you don't load that part and you need to add a jumper but otherwise yeah it's all uh, it's all there so uh, let me show you the instructions uh, let's see here is it out? just a bunch of words center frequency at 700 so this one is long this one's around 770, so uh, it's hard to get them always to be exactly the same. Um, you have to have very, very high tolerance parts, which are not the ones being used here. So it, it's designed frequency with 700, but with this one ended up being a little bit long. Um, let's see here. The first steps, the talk, you, can hit the, go, you can go check by check and, and, and everything. Um, there is a uh, configuration that you want if you want more gain or less gain. I said I decided to use this second line here and uh, that seemed to be uh, that seemed to work out okay for me for the for amount of gain that I wanted. Um, really is the same except for uh, these two resistors change a little bit and that's on the LM386. Uh, All right let's uh, hook it up see if it works. All right, I've got it set up for a Bode plot. I'm uh, injecting on the input, monitoring the input, monitoring the output, um, and we can run the uh, Bode plot on my oscilloscope. Tell it to start. If you're not familiar with Bode plots, uh, there's a phase relationship that's being plotted with the green. We can ignore that. Uh, we'll just be looking at this uh, purple trace here, which is the gain. So the gain is very low, starting at 100 hertz and going to uh, 2 kilohertz. So now the gain's coming up, so it's got good gain now. And uh, it's a logarithmic scale. So there we go, we've had a peak in the uh, gain, and now we're on our way down. So this is a plot of the bandpass of the filter. It, it has maximum gain here and minimum gain out here. We can use our cursors to move in to, uh, oh, about there. That's about where the peak was, and right at about 770 hertz. So 77 hertz is where this thing is going to be the loudest. And uh, yeah, that looks, uh, looks very typical of one of these filters. Uh, so that's the uh, video. Uh, I think it's a nice little circuit and uh, easy to build. Uh, good for a first-time uh, first project. And yeah, I like it.